A recent issue of the Darth Vader comic had a very interesting exchange between Vader and Jocasta Nu. As they battle, she tells Vader that stamping out the light side of the Force is impossible. The Force is eternal. It cannot be ended. It cannot be stopped. Not so long as life exists. It will find its vessels. It always does. You know this. There are others waiting out in the galaxy. First of all, kudos to writer Charles Soule for getting philosophical about the Force in the middle of a fight between a Sith Lord and a librarian. This series has been consistently awesome. But I think issue 10 tells us some very interesting things about the nature of the Force, Anakin Skywalker, and Rey. I want to focus in on that word Jocasta used, vessels. The Force will find its vessels, it always does. To me, this is kind of like in Matrix Reloaded, when Neo learns that he's not the first chosen one. It sounds like there have been many individuals throughout history that have been exceptionally gifted with natural strength in the Force, like Anakin and Rey. Granted, I think Anakin was an even more special case given the circumstances of his birth, and it's pretty obvious that his bloodline passed on that strength. But let's look at why Anakin was born in the first place. In Star Wars Legends, Anakin's conception is explained as a reaction to Darth Plagueis and Darth Sidious. They attempted to push the Force out of balance, leaning more towards the dark side. In response, the Force created a being in an effort to restore balance. It wound up taking 40-ish years, but hey, it worked. Again, that's Legends, but I think the same basic principle could have easily happened in canon. In The Last Jedi, Snoke has the line, Darkness rises and light to meet it. I think that's what happened with Anakin. As Palpatine grew in strength, the Force needed to choose a vessel to restore the balance. But Sidious was the culmination of 1,000 years worth of the Sith finally reaching the height of their power. So maybe the Force had to create a vessel strong enough to combat him. I think what happened with Anakin was unprecedented. It had never happened before, and it may never happen again. But what I think the Jedi had probably seen before is an individual being chosen as a vessel, especially in times of great need. So let's jump forward to Rey. Luke Skywalker and the Jedi have been gone for five years or so. We've got Snoke and Kylo Ren growing in the dark side, and apparently no one is stepping up to balance things. In fact, Luke has cut himself off from the Force completely. So what does the Force do? It chooses a vessel, and her name is Rey. The Force awakens in her. I honestly wonder if Poe tracked Lor Santeca down to, say, Tatooine, and Rey were still on Jakku, would the Force have chosen someone from Tatooine? Was Rey chosen because she was in the right place at the right time? I think that's a discussion for another day, but we can always kind of wave that off as it all being destiny, which is a huge theme in Star Wars already. Many people have complained about how quickly Rey picks up the Force in the last two movies, but I think this offers at least some explanation. Also, it was hinted in a discussion by some of the Lucasfilm story group about The Last Jedi that Rey and Kylo may have picked up some abilities from each other during their mental battle on Starkiller Base. One more line from that comic got me wondering about the future. Jocasta Nu says, The Force is eternal, it cannot be ended, it cannot be stopped, not so long as life exists. That just got me thinking about potential future stories. Maybe we could see some insane, misguided former Jedi start to believe that the Force itself needs to be destroyed for whatever reason. Maybe some super powerful villain like Nihilus takes it upon him or herself to destroy all life in the galaxy because they have some vendetta against the Force. That seems a little extreme, and villains that are trying to destroy all life can come off as very cliché and unrealistic, but my point is, I think it would be interesting and different if we had a villain that were trying to damage the Force itself, rather than trying to dominate and rule the galaxy. That's kind of besides the point of this video, so I'll bring things back on track as we close out. What do you think of Rey and Anakin being vessels for the Force? Do you think that's what this line is implying, or is it something else? Do you think there have been more vessels in galactic history, and would you like to see them? Let me know all your answers in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.